I took a drive from Winnipeg oh, yeah? down across Salt Lake and into Las Vegas, right across the <laughs> west coast and then back up. Yeah. There you go. It was great. Absolute pleasure to meet you. Very nice to meet you. For this one, it's such a wild script. I'm curious, what, what made you want to attach yourself to it that, that got you so pumped up about it? I have become a firm believer in non-medicated health. Hmm. One of those things is laughter. <laughs> I mean, one of them is love. Sure. But one of them is laughter. And I love my wife dearly. <laughs> And when she read this script, she laughed. And if you've never heard my wife belly laugh, then you've never really heard a laugh. So when she told me about how much she enjoyed reading the script, I almost didn't have to read the script. Mm -hmm. right? it was, there was an instinct that she has that she passed on to me, and, and I'm glad. You said about not reading the script, but the, some people might know it's a, uh, a remake of a, uh, another film. Did you, by any chance, watch the original film, or you just want to go in fresh? No, I didn't. I yeah. just went straight in, hoping on instincts. You know? <laughs> what I love also about it is the nicknames across the entire board of the other characters. Growing up, did you ever have a nickname, and where did it come from? Yeah, I had a nickname, and it was Canindian. <laughs> and it becomes, my father was English, yeah. Canadian, my mother was Indian. So they called me Canindian. <laughs> For you, what was the most difficult scene to film? Visualizing my son oh. uh, in death. Now, that's a very serious moment. Sure. But not to mislead you, you've seen the film. Yes. So you know there's humor in this film, and you know that <laughs> well, you know, I'll go back to that point of, of how refreshing it is to be in a, a cowboy and Indian movie that's nothing to do with politics. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and you mentioned, you know, the death of a son. And what, I've, what I took from this film is, you know, there's father and son and, and advice that's passed along. And I'm curious what advice, the best advice you received from your father and which ones you'll pass on to your children. Peace. Oh. My father was a man of peace. When he walked in a room, there was a, a, a spirit that caused everybody to calm. Yeah. My mother, she was quite gregarious. <laughs> And I don't know if I have any of that, but yeah. I, you know, I know for sure that my dad was a very peaceful man. And moving forward, what's the type of genre film that you haven't touched yet that you'd like to, to take over? I'd like to participate in a, in a musical oh. uh, in theater. You know, I don't know which one, really. But, <laughs> but it would have to be a tall character, that's for sure. <laughs> Absolute pleasure meeting you.